First of all, in these two occasions, whether it's months of Ramadan or months of the Hajjah, we have to also try to purify ourselves, to do something to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we achieve forgiveness and other things. And secondly, a great lesson that it is the case throughout the year. Every day can be a day of Eid if it is preceded by our piety, by our obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Imam Ali alayhi salam said, Kullu yawman la yu'sallahu feeh, fa huwa yawmu Eid. Every day that you can finish that day by really being far from the sins, not thinking, because sometimes we think we don't commit any sins, but na'uzu billah, we have committed lots of sins. But every day that you can finish the day by really believing and knowing that we haven't committed any sin, that is also a day of Eid. So this is a lesson for us to take away from today, that we should always try to be pious, to be committing ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's will, and inshallah the day of Eid will be continuing for us throughout the year, and then the greatest day of joy would be when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the pious people are so happy and so bright that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ta'rifu fi wujuhim nadratan na'im. By looking at their face, you see the joy and the beauty of the blessing of heaven.